Romanian lady rat. Well, I had a good time. I hung out with um. Oh, you got your wig. You got your wig. Bro. I got my wig combed out. Yes, baby. Because it was all flat and stuff. And then I went to my friend. Her name is Tracy, and she has this her own shop. It's called Who Does Your Braids. Uh huh. And it's really really nice. Where a lot of black people come, you know. So who does your braids? Who does your braids and fades? And fades. Because the back part is is her husband. Oh. Where, and he has his um. You know they have their kids back there, and their kids you know do the fading of things. You know. Yes, yes. With, you know the clippers and things. It sounds so, like a real housewives of Atlanta business. It's We're really gonna nice. start my new shop. It's really who nice. does your braids. Yes, and, and fades. fades, and it's cute, honey. <laughs> so I ask her, you know, she's the owner of the shop. Oh, Jesus Christ what? of Nazareth! You white people just don't even obey directions. They don't. What is wrong with y'all? A lot of problems. Lord, see that's what happens when you give people too much money. They don't know how to be <laughs> obedient. Anyway, oh I'm just saying, look at them. They so rude, honey. You, you saw them jump. Did you see? And the man didn't even wink, honey. He was they like, oh, well, I guess it's my turn. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, well, bitch, you should have been across the light when it was your turn. But anyway, so, yeah, talking about white people. <laughs> talking about white people. So I yes, went around yes. with the black people because I really like the black people. Right. So I hung out. Mm -hmm. And um, I went down there and she brushed out my wig for me, which I was really appreciative because she didn't have to do that. That's nice. So then, you know, she got me high. We enjoyed ourselves, you know, partaking and praying and things, you know. And I, praying yes, and pray you know, to the green uh, goddess. So we did that. And then um, she, we hung out with one of her husband's friends. He was cool. Oh, yeah. So cool. He's straight, you know, because, you know, I don't really do with the straight men because they be trying to get you in. What do you mean thing. you don't do with the I straight men? I mean, I said, I that don't is deal. mostly what you do. I don't, I mean, I fuck them. I just don't deal with them. I oh, don't have okay. conversations and hang out in public and shit. I see. You know I what see. I mean? Okay. In the dark, here, take this dick. Okay, but see. <laughs> <laughs> so we hung out and he was really nice to me. You know, kind of weird. He kept asking me silly questions like, how was your head? And I'm like, what you mean, how's my head? I think it's fine. He said, no, no, how's your head? He was like, you know, is it sloppy? Is it wet? Is it is it good? Is it strong? You got strong jaws, you know? You Lady Red, you're throat. like Blanche Devereaux. Wherever you go, you find a man. Well, he wanted to know. And my problem is, you know, just because you beautiful don't mean you have to be um you know stuck up it's okay to be easy and pretty i you understand agree. what i'm saying <laughs> my favorite shit because kind of one day i ain't gonna be pretty but i'll always be easy mm -hmm. see that's the difference yeah and then when you show yourself friendly people like to be friendly to you that's how people give me so much things you know what i'm saying that's true. if i was ever hungry i'll just go up to a kfc and how, how you doing can i speak to the manager i would just like a two piece and a biscuit if that's okay you're gonna throw one out in just a minute i know it that chicken give me the hardest chicken you got honey as long as it's edible i'm fine <laughs> you know what i mean and and then when they say, oh, no, we can't do that, then you say, well, motherfucker, let me tell you what's going to happen. Either you're going to give me a two-piece of a biscuit or I'm going to assault everybody that comes up here. And if you call the police, I'm going to say that you have assaulted me and you are personally giving me a hate crime experience. Wow, a hate crime experience. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when we went to Pavilions and it was the end of the night and we were getting fried chicken. Yes! And you went up to the man and you said... How much for the entire case? <laughs> I know you're going to throw it away. <laughs> I know you're going to throw it was away. Was I wrong? You were not wrong. The you chicken got, was hard anyway. You got sure. a lot of extra chicken. Yes, he didn't have nothing else to do. Go sit there and leave two pieces in the little thing. Talking That's about, true. Talking about, well, I counted it out. It was 16. I said, what you going to do with them two pieces? You gonna throw him exactly. away, right? He said, "Well, I yeah, yes, you gonna throw him away, I, 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 sir. You're not sir. gonna eat that, sir. Could you just put it in there? I throw in a little macaroni and cheese. I'm throwing a little macaroni and cheese. Yeah, the skin is on top of it. I know ain't nobody gonna buy that, please. <laughs> you know, you gotta talk to me. I like you. I like. I like how it moves. I can't wait for us to be able to get money, so you don't have to. You don't have to rip off anymore people at KFC. You don't have to tell them that you're gonna get a hate crime experience. I'm gonna tell them I had a hate crime experience. What? I mean, if I don't get that free chicken, <laughs> you have to you have to go ahead and make life work for you. Yes, you, you know do, what I mean. Bitch. And when people staring at you all day, you might as well give them a show. That's I mean that is one thing. You are you, no matter what, and that's one of the things I but love. But you don't want to do it for free, so I gotta have something coming gotta to get me. Some yes, bitch, I need some chicken or a soda, or, or a soda, or a soda, yeah. or a biscuit, or some mashed potatoes. Oh my god, please. or a five dollar fill up box for zero dollars. I'm saying if he just let me lick his finger right after he stick it in the gravy, we good. <laughs> Damn, you know what I'm saying? Don't. Make me beg, bitch. Don't make me beg. Don't make me beg. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs>